Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. It's Monday and doggies and I just loafed around this morning. We didn't get up until 10. We were awake, but none of us wanted to get up. Well, I didn't want to get up. <sighs> um, I've definitely been catching up on sleep uh, with my dad gone. One of the things is that um, I didn't sleep well because he, first of all, he called for me a lot at night. Um, and then <laughs> when he would get up at night, when he could still walk, you know, he could get to him from the bathroom and that walker and it was like clunk, clang, clang, clunk all the way from his bed to the bathroom and back. So it's like the whole house would shake. So, and he got up, you know, two, three, sometimes four times a night. So that would wake, wake me up a lot. Um, so pretty much sleep through the night now, but I do still occasionally wake up cause I can swear I hear him calling for me. And sometimes I can hear that walker and I'll be like, is he in there? I mean, the other night I was like, is he in there? So dogs sleep with me and they love that. They just want to sleep with somebody. They, I've got a whole big bed and they claim it. You gotta, I gotta like get in there first and get my position before they get in. And then I have nowhere to be. And they, they're little, but man, when they hunker down, they're like, we're not moving. And then I have nowhere to wait. I have some Etsy orders to get done. I, these are ready to go. Um, I'd had my shop on vacation for a bit, but before I did that, I'd started a buy five, say 50% off sale. And I was getting tons of orders, most of them from you guys. And I'm, I didn't film a lot of them, most of them, because it was just too much. And I was, I had to put my store on shop, but thank you so much who ordered. I want to get back to filming orders as they come in. And I did, that sale is still going on. So um, I started that back up again, but I'll show you a little bit of what I've been doing in my office. Cause I've just been clearing stuff out getting rid of the clutter. So I'll kind of show you what things look like. Um, yeah. So first thing is I have my stickers now in this closet, keeps them nice and cool away from the light, the stickers and the magnets um, in these. These are cell phone, cell phone station things like teachers and restaurants would have them, but they work perfect for the three inch stickers and magnets. So I have those in there. Got some cleaning over there. The bottom shelf I... Still need to work on reorganizing that a bit. There's Papa's Papa's tote for cleaning up stuff from eBay. And then I have my cart here, utility cart, uh, that I just have. So when an order comes in, I come over here, pull it, and then this light because it's a little dark. And then I do have more over here. But everything that is listed for sale is now here and in here. So and I inventoried everything. My original plan was I was going to separate all the stickers from the magnets because on Etsy, there are different categories for stickers and magnets. And so like I have, you know, Wisconsin magnets and Wisconsin stickers. I started doing that and realized that that was going to take me forever. So I scrapped that because like I've told you guys, a lot of these designs I won't be getting again. I'm redoing designs, getting new things. So um, I did just get some new stuff. I got these Siamese cat magnets. And these lion magnets, I also have these in a holographic sticker right here. I need to open them and find room for them. So yeah, that's where those are. Here, this was clear. Okay, now we are back to a mess again. That's trash. I haven't taken it out yet. That's terrible. Um, some things that I am keeping that need to go downstairs. I got a light. Well, it might be if I sell them on eBay. Maybe it'll stay. Anyway, a light box that I put there. Um, my nail polish and essential oil. I mean, it's about my room. This is full of these little squishies that I got. Ziggy I'm keeping, but he needs to go in there. For so long, I couldn't find any reusable totes. Now that I'm going through everything, reusable totes. That fell apart. Here's my dad's stick. It's very handy. Here's my dad, a picture of him and his brother. This is years ago. Ha <laughs> ha! My uncle, he fell and died that way. And then my dad, he was one of the oldest. My dad was the youngest of the living kids. So that is a grainy photo. What is behind it? Oh, someone put a letter. And this thing full of dollhouse miniatures. And then, oh, more bags. So like there's that. And then this table is currently just stuff. So, you know. You get some done and then you have a mess again. That dollhouse stuff is going in the basement because I decided I'm going to put my dollhouse stuff in the basement. 
And then if I do eBay, I'm going to make sure it all stays here. So only small things. I'm not ready to do that yet. So that will come in time, but not right now. And I'll probably be getting rid of a lot of this like Grogu stuff. It all does is take up dust. And some of it is like exactly the same. Like those Funkos look exactly the same. When I start, when Grogu came out, I was like, oh my God, you get, look at all these. I didn't realize that Funko releases a new Funko every two seconds. And like, they all look like that is the same face. They got me. But that'd be the kind of stuff I could take to the consignment store. And again, like no hurry on any of that. It's fine as it is. Okay, here are the three orders for this morning. One of the new lion magnets and then this little pug magnet. Uh, someone else ordered one of the three inch rainbow magnets and then someone else ordered the um, red rotary phone sticker and I've got one of the big rainbows left so I'm going to reorder the, um, some more of these. These have been popular um, like promote them as car magnets so very 80s with the rainbow. Of course it can also be pride um, but I get it because it's a 80s thing and I also since I'm not LGBTQ I don't want to like sell things that are pride and take away from shops that do. So I don't advertise this as pride, but I know people have bought it because of that. Um, I do have my ally rainbow stickers. See, this is here. I sat here, I took inventory, I rearranged the whole thing. Look at how much easier. Now I come over and stand. Oh, here they are and wonder where they went. So I did the ally one. So I've got the three inch of the ally um, so I don't know if people would like a larger one for the car, like the rainbow. You'll have to let me know, but I do have those in the three inch. Okay. So I thought I'd kind of show you what I've been doing here, um, in my, hi Charlie, in my dad's room. So obviously they came and took the hospital bed away. And after, before they brought the hospital bed, I'd gotten rid of his bed that had been in here because it was stained and chewed from dogs. From this one, this one did it. Um, and he had this hospital bed, which I actually really liked. Um, it was nice and cozy for him. I'm going to have um, Christy's husband take these three things downstairs for me, the walkers and then that bed. It's like a bed rail, um, not a bed rail, um, like a grab bar. You just tuck it under the mattress and then you can grab onto that to get out. He rarely used it. <laughs> um, this is mine. That's probably just going to go back in my office. Um, I put those two, these two big um, Rubbermaid thingies or Sterilite in this closet area. Um, there's no doors, clearly. I can put a curtain up, back up eventually, but for right now, it's fine. And I decided to leave his dresser and bureau in here. I did keep the headboard. My nephew took it downstairs. Um, and I was going to have them take these up too, but I decided to keep these in here because they're great storage. I never would get rid of them anyway. You know, they're my parents and vintage. Um, I would, I was going to keep them, but I'm like, well, I can utilize them. And then I'm going to have Christy's husband move the table into that room. When I bought this house, the previous owners were using this room as a den. It's it's considered the master bedroom of the house because of the um, attached bath. Eventually, I'm going to move the curio cabinet in here. And did you guys pee back there? Oh my gosh. And this desk in there, but not right now because number one, I need to paint and number two, the carpet needs to be cleaned. And then number three, what I want to do is get like a, a larger piece of furniture, like a hutch that I can have right here, get rid of the that and just have a big like buffet hutch. So I'd have more storage again. And then I, you know, have that basically more counter space without actually having to build something in. So did you pee there again? Or is that just something I saw on the ground? Maybe you didn't do it. Did I accuse you of peeing when you didn't do it? Yeah, I don't think you did it. So anyway, um, but yeah, this will kept his tractors up there, which he, oh, as soon as we got these for him, um, then he like wanted to get rid of them. Like they're staying up there for now. And yeah, I have all my cleaning stuff here. I have the doggies puppy pads. And like I said, I do have, I can just get like a curtain or something, 
to hang there if I feel like it, but I don't really care because this is the back of the house. Um, but this will eventually be like the dining room area. And then in here, once again, I paint, because <laughs> look, at you can see up here the mess. Can you see that? Uh, several years back, my dad decided he could paint and then he started and he realized, oh, I can't. So that's a mess. This is a mess behind it. So I don't want to move that because if you move it, then you're like, oh my gosh, what is going on back there? But eventually, um, I do want to get new living room furniture. <laughs> Look at what the dogs have done. They have eaten my furniture <laughs> um, and the couch as well. It's all a mess. This isn't anything I'm doing anytime soon. I've got to save up for it. Um, I'd originally been trying to save up money that I could get him a lift chair. Um, but then that didn't happen. So they could have gotten me a lift chair from hospice, but he, we also couldn't move him. So that, that wasn't, that wasn't gonna happen. But eventually I want to get more furniture for the living room because when the family's over, there's nowhere to sit. So that's kind of, I'd like to get another, like I said, in the kitchen, a big hutch. And I know this looks tacky, but right now this is what I'm doing. <laughs> As I continue to try to find places for things, um, like get a big hutch or something for here. Um, again, like the bottom storage, but the top display. And then figure out a furniture arrangement for basically this whole thing. It's such an awkward layout. It's a long and narrow living room. So... You know, I mean, I could do like a couch and then I could do a love seat here. I don't know if that would look tacky, though. And then some chairs. I don't know. Again, that hutch is not moving until I can get the house painted. So, but it's just something to think about. If you have, and, and then I would like a new entertainment center because this one is also kind of broken and <laughs> falling apart. But that's just kind of what is going on. There's... Some flowers that a friend sent. Um, those are still going strong. And yeah. But it's so neat to get this room. My two big things would be this room and then the kitchen painted. Um, and carpet clean. Those are like the first two immediate projects I want to do. How many times have we been outside today? You know what happens when we go in and out all the time? The flies come in and then we're annoyed by the flies. But you still want to go out again, don't you? How about <laughs> get your face? Should we go sit down again? Yeah, should we go sit down? Okay. Okay, well, Christy and her husband came and got the table moved in here. And like I said, eventually the curio cabinet will go in the corner and I'll put the desk over here. Um, but that's not happening until we paint. So, but I like this. Um, then when I come in, like, from Sam's Club groceries, I can just go whoop, right in there. And then this is all open now. And like I said, I'm eventually, the carpet needs cleaning and all things. But anyway, so that is done. And Dwayne made a list of repairs. <laughs> so he'll go get that stuff eventually and come back. I'm like, no hurry, whenever. Um, but you got a couple of packages there. I need so to open. I ordered two more of these from Amazon. I have one in the kitchen. I wanted to test it. And I love it. We have so many bugs and flies that get in the house because the dogs are in and out all day. Um, and these work great. So I'm going to plug one. I've got one in the kitchen. I'm going to put one in the living room and then I'm going to put one somewhere in my bedroom or office area to catch the bugs. So I already have a ton of the, um, little sticky pads refill so it's just a plug-in and it lights up and then the bugs stick to that so it works great and then it also doesn't look ugly you can see it's right back there it works fantastic and then I canceled my ipsy subscription but I'm you know I paid through for it so let's see or was this glossy box I don't even know what came some sort of eyeliner that I'm not going to use black onyx, a little cleansing oil makeup remover, a makeup brush, hand cream, I'll use that. And this is a lip glow and I'll use that. So yeah, you see why I'm canceling? It's just been crappy. Um, and it, like I said, I can't remember, if, I'm pretty sure that was an Ipsy. 
not a glossy. And Ipsy, not a glossy or a boxy. Why do they all have such similar names? And then the puppies got their bark box. Bow Wow Bayou. So we've got a New Orleans theme or just a Louisiana theme or just a Bayou theme. I don't know. Thank God. These are expensive, but these are the best ones. They love these sticks. I should order, I need to go to like a pet store place, like PetSmart or something, and look at the ones they have there and see if I can get a bulk buy. You know, the hard thing about these is they're always, every brand is different and some of them stink so bad, it makes me sick. Um, but these don't, and I like them, but they're expensive. I think they're like six bucks each, Ugh. but they keep them occupied. We have <laughs> little squeakies. Oh my gosh, Teddy will love those. And treats, jackaloops. Gosh, I didn't get much. I'm supposed to get, oh, this is a regular. I thought I got a double. That's a regular. I don't know, but we'll take it. Sometimes I'll get two maybe. I don't know, but I need to get rid of some of the toys they already have that they don't play with before I give them more. So I'll probably hold those back a little bit. Okay, so I have a few Etsy orders. Uh, first is for one of these made in the 80s magnets. Then we have an order for, let's see, two of the new Siamese cat magnets, one of the cat mom magnets, and let's see here, one of the sunflower magnets, and one of the eye break for thrift stores magnets. These are the three inch, and then this is a five inch. I market this as a car magnet, but any of the magnets and any of the stickers I sell can go on cars. I've gotten that question because they are vinyl, so they're waterproof, heat safe, scratch resistant. So both magnets and stickers, any size can go on cars and refrigerators and wherever there's anything um, metallic for the magnets and the stickers can pretty much go anywhere too. And then I had an order come in from Sarah in North Carolina and she left a note on Etsy. Thank you so much. A lot of you will leave notes and I do see them. They pop up with the order. So <laughs> thank you for that. Um, Sarah got one of the QB um, pumpkin, QB in a pumpkin costume. How cute. Magnets. One of the lab mom magnets and one of the theme park magnets. I have two different styles. This is one's like the purpley and we've got the carnival and all the rides. So fun. Well, it is now Tuesday. And the cable is out. I have the TV on all day. I like to have the TV on. News, mostly, but you know, if I find something else, just to have it as background noise. So I'm losing my mind. I've got my laptop, brought it out. I'm gonna put like YouTube. I'll find something on YouTube just to have the noise in the background. And of course I use the text line to get a tech, which is the easier way to do it and you know that I'm on hold. Then they shoots me something else. Well, what have you done? I've unplugged, replugged, unhooked. I've done all the things three times. We've been through this before. So like, okay, we'll have to make an appointment for a tech. August 6th, can't come till August 6th. Sometimes they'll call and they can come earlier. So I'm hoping that will happen. <sighs> Thank goodness, Papa honestly is not here for this because when this happened and the tv went out he was so upset all the time because that you know that was his thing he watched tv and you can turn the tv on and watch like um hook it up through like wi-fi but i can't find the remotes to do that so i'm just gonna i don't know i did go out to the consignment store and i picked my bag up got my car washed they're doing something on my road. It's not, they're not digging the road up. They're doing something with cable, cable lines or fiber lines. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe that's what happened. Anyway, so I had parked my car on a side street, but when I got back, I like maneuvered through the things because they told me that residents should be able to get through. So I just brought my car back in. I don't like to have my car parked on the street. I want it safe in the garage. So... Yeah, we're all kind of losing our minds right now and it's only 11.30 and we miss TV. Don't we, Lucy or Teddy? We miss the TV. Where's Charlie walking around the house? I need to put that stuff away. Teddy, hi. Teddy, look at the camera. Teddy, look at mommy. Look, look, hi. Whoop, whoop. Oh, 
Oh, dead hands up, boy. It is now 345. I might be going a little bit crazy without the TV, but I have been getting a ton of work done. I edited another chapter in my book. I'm doing one chapter a day. So, and I've been able to do it. Even yesterday, I was so tired. I didn't think I could. I did one. So, or no, that's a lie. I started it yesterday and I finished it today. Okay. It took me two days to do one. Yeah, that's what happened. I was so tired. Anyway, but I did that. And then I've been relisting some um, stickers and magnets that fell off of Etsy. And by fell off, I mean I accidentally deleted them. I couldn't get them back. So I've been doing that. And they are doing the whatever they're doing outside my house. Papa would have loved that. My dad would have been like, oh, got to see what they're doing. And the dogs have just been on my lap taking naps. That's what they do. I think I might go out to dinner tonight. I think I can get out. They should probably knock off about four here. And I might go up to Village Inn, which isn't too far from my house, and just eat dinner there. Because I didn't order any food. And it'll be good for me to get out of the house. And they have TVs. Probably on sports, which I don't care about. But maybe they'll have like a news TV. <laughs> I just missed the noise of the TV. I mean, like I said, I can find some things on YouTube that are like live news. But... It says live, but then I feel like it's still recorded. I don't know. But anyway, so not too terribly hot yet. I know tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, that's when it's going to get really bad here. So anyway, I think I need to take a little break from the work now and mindlessly scroll on my phone for a bit. And then when they kind of knock off for the day, I think I can get out and um, we'll go out to dinner. I don't mind eating by myself. I mean, because honestly, when you're with somebody, you're like trying to chew and talk and talk and chew. And when I went places with my dad, he never talked. So it was just like sit there in silence and eat anyway. So <laughs> fine by me. And I like to eat early because, again, that's something I got used to with him. You know, a lot of senior citizens eat early and he liked to eat at like four o'clock. And just over the years, I got used to that. So I don't mind going early before the crowds hit, getting something to eat. What in the world? I just heard a dog bark over there, and I got two dogs over here. What is going? What is going on? I might be losing my mind. Okay, we're here at the Village Inn. Let's go have dinner. So this place is kind of like Perkins. They have breakfast all day, but also dinners. I don't want breakfast. I want maybe a burger. They do have good burgers here. Hmm. Or a salad. I don't really like their salads, honestly. Probably go with a burger. Like Perkins, they have pie. You can get whole pie or just buy the slice. Up there in the case. Ooh, focus. It's kind of, they remodeled it several years back, but it looks like they've remodeled it again since I've last been here. They definitely have. So I actually got the chicken sandwich. Um, it comes with bacon and cheese and a side of ranch. And then I got honey mustard for my fries and a Pepsi. Looks good. I'm already back home. I brought the half, half of it back with me for tomorrow. That was easier than ordering food and then going to pick it up and bring it home because I have to place the order, have to drive to the place, pick it up, drive back home, by the time I get home, the food is cold. I have to divide it up. I've got all the containers. Um, it was just easier to honestly do it this way. So, and it gets me out of the house. Are you okay? I was, I was like gone for 35 minutes. You guys did a really good job, didn't you? Did you do a good job? Mm, yes, you're so cute. Charlie, oh, I love you. Do we miss the TV? Oh, the silence, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy with the silence. Well, here's the view from my bed. <laughs> I forgot to end the vlog. I don't know if you can hear Teddy at the foot of my bed chomping on a bone. And I got Charlie right next to me. But anyway, I worked on the TVs again a little bit tonight, thinking maybe if I tried some other cords, I could get it going. I couldn't. Still no TV, but anyway... We'll just have to live with it. But if you guys liked this vlog, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, 
you can check all my links below the video. And I'm sorry if this was kind of dull. <laughs> I don't know. Just trying to find my way, trying to just figure out my new, my new life. So anyway, I probably won't be going anywhere. I hope I don't have to go anywhere the next three days since we'll be under a heat warning. So I'm sure the next vlog after this will be even less exciting than this one. But anyway, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.